This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. Alright, Against the Odds time. Hour of Devastation, finally here. And we're starting off with Solemnity in Modern, our spoiler card. No Solemnities, lots of Seers, and some Messengers. Well, let's just lean on Urborg, play a Seer, pass the turn. Opponent, Ghost Quarter, Lotus Bloom, Chromatic Sphere, uh-oh. Mox Opal, this doesn't sound good. Oh man, oh man, we're so close. We do need a land. I think we're going to have to sack Vasira Sierra. I think our best chance of winning is to combo off before our opponent. Get in with Vasira Seer, hit our opponent, play a Vasira Seer, crack this, get a Godless Shrine, untapped, play a Vasira Seer. We have the combo kill on turn four which hopefully is, is one turn before Lotus Bloom. Assuming our opponent doesn't do anything too crazy, another Ghost Quarter, Mindstone for some ramping, Icker Wellspring. Well, if our opponent can win before Lotus Bloom comes down, then we're in trouble. Opponent's passing. So, Sack of Asir is here. We just gotta find a land, an untapped land. There's an untapped land. All right, keep Godless Shrine. Godless Shrine, untapped. Get in with our Vasira Seers. Play a Messenger. Drain our opponent, and this is it. This is it. If our opponent can kill us on turn three, then we lose. Otherwise, Solemnity, Infinite Drain, they don't have Lotus Bloom yet. It should be hard. Chromatic Sphere, that's not lethal. Oh, opponent's passing. Well, as long as they don't have, like, a weird counter removal, play Polluted Delta, play Solemnity, Resolves, attack with everything, we got it! We got it! We get to drain our opponent out. Hit our opponent. Down to 10. Sack our messenger. Comes back. No counter. Drain our opponent. And our opponent scoops it up! We got there! We outraced! We outraced eggs. Turn 4 kill before our opponent could turn 4 kill us. Alright, uh, Stony Silence is coming in. Negate's coming in. Also Graveyard Hate, I think coming in going down i believe all of our creature removal maybe just some kitchen finks kitchen finks and zur let's try it like that all right on to game two against eggs and all right no solemnity but we'll try this thought season surgical are good island for our opponent and passes well watery grave untapped thought sees our opponent nature's claim reshape face reward icker well springs you know what? I think we just take Icker Wellspring and then immediately surgical it to get the other one out of our opponent's hand. And now their hand doesn't do much of anything. We also get to see what answers they have in their deck. Nature's Claims, Bane Fires their kill condition, pass the turn. Opponent plays an island and Chromatic Sphere and passes. I'll play the planes, get out our Cartel Aristocrat, pass the turn. Wouldn't mind drawing another land or two. Mox Opal for our opponent. And passes. There's a land. That's good. Well, get in with Cartel Aristocrat. Hit our opponent. Down to 18. Polluted Delta. Crack it. Get a Godless Shrine. Untapped. And just get our Kitchen Finks out there. Speed up our clock a bit. Pass the turn. Opponent has a Ghost Quarter. And passes. There's Solemnity. Well, let's go attacking. Well, I guess we just run Solemnity out there. And if our opponent ever tries to kill it, we just gain infinite life. Opponent passes. Ooh, <laughs> stony silence. That's pretty good. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Down to eight. Play Vasira Seer. Play stony silence. And this might just do it. Opponent adds green. Yep. All right, now we gain infinite life. Zack our Finks. Gain some life. Scry do we find a black source to set up messenger for next turn? There's an Urborg. You know what? That's fine. We're not even going to gain infinite life here. We'll just wait till next turn and kill our opponent. If they try to kill Solemnity, we can go off in response. Well, there's green mana, chromatic sphere, and a prism. Well, I think it's just game over, though. Conjurer's bobble, yup. Opponent stepped out. We don't even have to combo off. We just hit him for six, attack with messenger, or er, play messenger. So, attack. Oh, this deck is sweet. Hit our opponent, down to two. Play the swamp, play messenger. Last two points of damage, and we got there, starting off strong with Solemnity. Whoo! 
Uh, that was pretty good. Turn 4 kill, beating down on eggs. We will take it. Alright, against the odds time, playing some Solemnity in Modern. Uh, no Solemnity, but we'll keep this. Pretty reasonable aggro hand with a random frag scene on life. Oh god. Uh, okay. Well, Marsh Flats, no idea what's happening. That's a ley line of anticipation. Get a Swamp and Vizier is here. Pass the turd. Opponent leads on a Swamp. Oh god. Well, we might have just uh, lucked into the nuts. Get in with Vasiris here. Pass the turn. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we just gotta turn four kill if our opponent doesn't have counters or anything. There's an Ether Hub. Well, Godless Shrine, untapped. Get in with Vasiris here. Actually, I don't think we attack because of Flash. Play Solemnity. Oh, watch our opponent be an energy deck. <laughs> they have one. Aw, oh, really? Really? Oh, no! Alright, opponent has negate. Well, they're out of blue mana now. Alright, playing some sorcery speed stuff with flash. Oh, I really wanted that Slimnity. Well, get in with Viserys here. Oh, we had the kill! I guess we could just draw into another Slimnity. Opponent's down to 18. Playing Messenger. Drain our opponent. Down to 16. Creeping Tar Pit, pass the turn. Opponent draws extra card down to 15. Finds blue mana. We draw a Swamp. Well, play Viserys Seer. Play a Swamp. Attack with everything. Opponent takes it. Play Unlife. Pass the turn. Opponent's down to 10. So we're actually close to just getting the natural kill. We could go Desperation Scry for Solemnity. Don't think it's worth it here, though. Opponent passes. Well, we draw Marsh Flats. Instant Speed Thought Seize. All right. Well, unless our opponent can gain life, they're just going to die to themselves. Takes our Fatal Push. Well, Marsh Flats, crack it. Watery Grave, untapped. Fire up Tar Pit. Attack with everything. Instant Speed Thoughtseize is pretty sweet. Not sure it's enough to make Leyline worth it, though. Does our opponent have scary Flash stuff? Fatal Push is Tar Pit. Drops to three. Now, let's just sack our Messenger. Put our opponent to one. And they die to Frexine Arena. Get a scry. Uh, shambling my bottom. Pass the dirt. So our opponent has to gain life to not be dead. Murderous cut. Okay. Can you gain life? No. Whoo! Well, we almost had the quick combo kill, but we still got the quick beatdown kill. Is our opponent just blue-black control? I don't really understand what's happening at all. Let's go down fatal pushes for negates and just call it good, since we don't know what's going on. Uh, alright. This is fine. Blue to Delta for our opponent. And passes. No flash this time is helpful. Godless Shrine, untapped. Inquisition. Maybe we'll figure out what our opponent's actually doing. Cracks Delta. Watery Grave. Tapped. Eh, alright. We'll just take Inquisition. I guess it's just blue-black control with Leyline? There's a Swamp for our opponent. And Creeping Tar Pit, pass the turn. Bajookabog. All right, there goes our graveyard. Not too threatening. Well, play the planes. Play Viserys here. Play Cartel Aristocrat. Uh, we'll sack Viserys here to the fatal push. Get a scry out of the deal. Shambling went to the bottom. I mean, we mostly just want Zer to live. If Zer resolves and attacks, so good at getting our combo pieces. There's an Ether Hub for our opponent. Fatal push. Well, we're going to slam Zer and just hope for the best. Ooh, there's Solemnity too. Watery Grave, untapped. Play a Zer. Pass the turn. Oh, come on. One attack. One or two. One or two attacks. Another Aether Hub. Oh, opponent's passing. All right. We draw a Swamp. Oh, man. Play the Swamp. I think we just get to assemble the lock. Attack with Zer. Get a Frexine on life. Opponent drops to 18. Play a Solemnity. So, we got things locked in. Blue-black, not a great color combination for dealing with enchantments. You know what? I think that's fine. We have the lock. Zuring out more copies isn't worth spending our counter, I don't think. So, let's just play a Kitchen Finks. Pass the turn. Pretty much unkillable, thanks to Solemnity. So if we draw a sack outlet, we have infinite life. There's a swamp for our opponent. And passes. More solemnities. Well, get in with Finks. Hit our opponent down to 15. Run out another solemnity. Pass the turn. 
Bonus passing. I wonder if they even have the cards that can beat this lock. We draw a swamp. Well, get in with Finks. Hit our opponent down to 12. Play the swamp. Pass the turn. Opponent passes. Oh, there's Messenger too. Messenger's sweet. Get in with Finks. Also, like, oh, Solemnity's so sweet. So in this setup, we're going to have a Messenger, hopefully, if it resolves. If our opponent Wraths, it doesn't do anything. We just get our creatures back. Like, sure, Damnation us. Please. That gives us more triggers. <laughs> Play Messenger, pass the turn. So now we're a sack outlet away from infinite life and infinite death. <laughs> infinite training. Oh, damnation us. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes, they did it. <laughs> oh, yes, the value. Kitchen figs. Coming back. Thank you very much. No counters. I think our opponent's just giving up, but it's pretty hilarious that they did that. Draws Messenger, coming down, drains our opponent. <laughs> uh, four mana, we gain two life, our opponent lo loses two life. And it's our opponent spending the four mana. Opponent says they were just curious. <laughs> and our opponent scoops it up. Solemnity! So good, this deck. I mean, opponent stack, blue-black control, not tier, but still pretty impressive Solemnity win. All right, against the odds time, playing some solemnity in modern and okay Ooh, ink moth all right affinity well this is a pretty good matchup for a ton of removal or an ethopter also i don't think this deck can beat the lock if we assemble it and solemnity has some random free value i'll play the swamp we're just gonna inquisition to get things started galvanic blast or steel overseer eh we'll take overseer don't really care about blast pass the dirt there's another Nexus. Fires up a Nexus and gets in. One and one. We hose in fact two if we draw Solemnity. Oh, come on, just draw Solemnity. No Solemnity. We'll play Vasira Seer. Play a Marsh Flats. Pass the turn. Opponent. Vault Scourge. And gets in. Four, one. Yep. Down to 18. We'll play Vasira Seer. Play Godless Shrine. Tapped. Pass the turn. Might have to start killing stuff. Ugh, there's a Ravager. All right. Opponent goes attacking, goes attacking. We'll take it. Solemnity holds his Ravager. <laughs> the list is long in this matchup. Greg Marsh Flats. Get a Godless Shrine. Tapped. Ooh, there's Messenger. Well, let's Fatal Push the Ravager. Opponent puts a counter on the Vault Scourge. Do some attacking. Opponent blocks. Play Polluted Delta. Crack it. Get a Swamp. And we're just going to run out our messenger, because if we draw Solemnity, we just win. So drain our opponent, down to 16. So Solemnity off the top, just lethal. Spring Leaf Drum, all right, gives our opponent some red mana for their blast. And Thought Cast, draws a couple cards. Another Nexus, and there's the Plating. Well, we're going to have to start killing that stuff. Opponent attacks with both. Uh, Solemnity? Well, let's attack with everything. Hit our opponent. 4-5, down to 13. Play the island. Pass the turn. All right, there's cranial plating. Opponent goes to combat. Well, path ornithopter. Opponent gets a mountain. We take three. Down to eight. Would be nice if we could just draw a Slimnity. Steel Overseer. Come on, deck. Come on. Slimnity off the top. Opponent passes. Well, another path is not bad. Attack with everything. Pona takes it. Down to 10. Path the Overseer. And pass the turn. See what happens. Memnite. Master of Ethereum. We might be dead because of that Galvanic Blast. He equips. Fires up Blink Moth. Alright, we get one, one draw at it. One draw. Pona goes attacking. We also get a Scry. One Scry. Path Memnite. So we're dead to Galvanic Blast next turn. We get we get a Scry for Solemnity for the win. Opponent's tapped out. Can't disrupt the combo. So this is it. Vasir is here. Sack's here. Solemnity. Godless Shrine to the bottom. All right. Time to tap the top of our deck and hope it's a Solemnity. Oh, it's a messenger. Oh, man. Well, we had a draw at it. Bring in two Stony Silences. Super good. And 
that might be all. Go down the Archmage, go down... Well, let's go down Thoughtseize, Thought... Eh, Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize for one Supreme Verdict. Try it like that. Well, we got Stony Silence. Not Solemnity, but we do have Xur. All right, Godless Shrine, tapped. Pass the turn. Hope for no turn one Thoughtseize. Darksteel Citadel. And Spring Leaf Drum. Ooh, opponent's passing. This is going to be a good one. Marsh Flats, crack it. Oh, this is such a good Stony Silence. Grab a Godless Shrine, untapped. Slam our Stony Silence, and pass the turn. No Citadel mana, no Spring Leaf Drum mana. Glimmer Void for our opponent. Eh, yeah, let's just Inquisition. Take, eh, we'll take Edge Champion, I think. Watery Grave tapped, pass the turn. There's a Blink Moth Nexus, and a Steel Overseer, just a 1-1. Oh, lordy. Well, that's Solemnity. <laughs> oh, the lock is getting harder. And pass the turn. There's a plating. Can't be equipped. Thanks to Stony Silence. And opponent gets in for one. And we'll just run out of Kitchen Finks. And pass the turn. Ornithopter for our opponent. Another plating. Ooh. Well, let's just run out of Messenger. And then... We can go infinite damage next turn. We could have gained infinite life here, but... I think this is just a faster way to end the game. Third plating. Opponent passes. Eh, aristocrat. And that should do it. Sack our messenger. Comes back. Drains our opponent. And do this a few more times. Sack our messenger. Can also gain infinite life. Drain our opponent. Sack our messenger. Opponent's down to nine. Opponent's down to seven. Building our own edge champion. Pro everything. And our opponent scoops it up. Stony Silence Solemnity. Well, on to round three, not changing a thing. We have some good sideboard cards for this matchup. Ooh, well, there's Stony Silence. Uh, I like this hand. Blink Moth Nexus. Ornithopter. And Signal Pest. Godless Shrine tapped. Pass the turn. Dark Seal Citadel for our opponent. And a Ravager. Alright. So our opponent can make one big threat. Down to 19. Play the planes. Play our Stony Silence. Pass the turn. Another Citadel. Ugh, another Signal Pest. That is potentially a problem. Opponent gets in. 4-3. We draw a Swamp. So play the Swamp. Play Phyrexian Unlife. Pass the turn. Hopefully we can get in one swing with Xur. Vault Scourge. So if we can get in one swing with Xur to get Solemnity, then we got stuff fully locked. Opponent gets in. Down to nine. So if our opponent could find, like, Red Source Galvanic Blast, then we could be in trouble. Play Xur. Pass the turn. Well, this is it. No Red Source. They gotta have, like, one mountain. Blue Source. Goes on the big attack. Let's block the Vault Scourge. Down to two. This way we're not just dead to a bounce spell. Steel Overseer. Yup. We draw a Swamp. Well, get in with Xur. Tutor up our Solemnity. For the Hard Lock. Play Polluted Delta. Play a second Phyrexian Unlife. Crack Polluted Delta. Watery Grave. Tapped. Pass the turn. So, we should be good. We should be safe. Another Citadel. We can just keep tutoring up redundant combo pieces. Ink Moth, sure. I mean, our opponent can hit us for a million, but it doesn't do anything. Yup. Big negatives. Down to negative 12. There's a messenger. Oh, do we just win? Well, let's attack with Xur, get another Solemnity. But I think we just win. Tutor up Solemnity number two. Hit our opponent. Play a Swamp. Play Dralf's Messenger. Drain our opponent. Cartel Aristocrat! Combo! It's a combo! Combo time. Sack Messenger. Coming back. And I think that should do it. Wow! Solemnity! This deck is legit! And our opponent scoops it up, taking down Affinity! Woo! Man! This deck, this deck, this deck is so sweet! Alright, against the odds time, playing some Solemnity. Insanely awesome Solemnity in Modern. All right, hard lock, hard lock and <laughs> no creatures to combo with. But if we don't get hit by discard, we just lock on turn four. So creeping tarpit, pass the turn. Opponent concealed courtyard, 
And passes. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, you never really need three Solemnities. Bonet leads on in Ether Hub. Gets an energy. Come on, no discard. Intangible Virtue. Oh, man. I feel the lot coming. Crack this. So it looks like Black White Tokens. Uh, get a Godless Shrine. Tapped. More Fatal Pushes. Well, let's get down Phyrexian on Life. Now we don't really care about discard since we have infinite Solemnities. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent. Uh, okay. Opponent ups their devotion to white count. <laughs> oh, I wish we could get down Clinalinda Archmage. Well, lock assembled. But if our opponent's playing Journeys, they probably have Oblivion Rings. Other planes. Soul Warden. Yep. Lingering Souls. Sure. Opponents gaining some life. They have to be able to disrupt the lock for any of this to matter, though. Land? Vasir is here. Well, let's. Fatal Push Soul Warden, play Viserys Seer, pass the turn. I mean, I guess now we just want to draw one of our infinite combo pieces. Opponent, Soren. Yep. Still not sure it can beat our lock. Opponent gets in, we'll take it. Down to 13. Woo! Off the top! That's Dralf's Messenger, and good game! <laughs> it's a combo. Zacked Messenger. Auto yield to all this stuff. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're just going to win right now. Sack Messenger. <laughs> uh, drain ya. Scry to the bottom. Sack Messenger. Oh, this combo. This deck. This deck is actually legitly good. Oh my goodness. Sack, me Sack Messenger. And our opponent scoops it up. Uh, yep. Solemnity. Deck is insane. Oh my goodness. I guess we can bring in Supreme Verdicts over targeted removal. Maybe negates? Let's go down Inquisition, Inquisition for negate, negate. Yeah, let's try it like that. Uh, okay. Little landlight, but this hand's fine. We'll keep it. Conceal Courtyard for our opponent. Shambling Vet, pass the turn. Another land's good. Opponent has a Plains. And Intangible Virtue. Uh, Watery Grave tapped, pass the turn. Not really in a rush to run out Aristocrat, since we might be wrathing. Ooh. All right. Well, Godless Shrine. Let's figure out what's going on. Untap. Thought Seize. Ooh. Angelic Accord, eh? Well, let's take Soren. Pass the turn. And I think we have to negate the first Raze Alarm. That's a lot of power and toughness with Virtue. Opponent. There's the Raze Alarm. Now we really just want to get this Zer down for the combo. Or we draw it. Well, let's uh play Phyrexian on life. Pass the turn. Drawing Solemnity is pretty good there. Now we don't need to zer. Opponent finds land number three. They didn't have a way of beating the combo in hand. Gets it. Hits us down to 12. Yup. And Lingering Souls. More Verdicts. Well, let's just get down Solemnity. For the lock. <laughs> uh, now our opponent has to have an answer. Or they can just never win. Opponent has Duress. Doesn't actually do anything. Opponent gets in for eight. So we're down to four. And a Soul Warden. Well, now we kind of do just want to Wrath. All right, well, back up Solemnity, I guess. Pass the turn. The problem we're going to have now is we're not going to be able to crack Fetches, <laughs> which is going to make it difficult to Supreme Verdict or Xur. But when it gets in, down to negative life. If they can kill Phyrexian on life, we die. Negative four. Well, as long as our unlife sticks around, we should be good. And opponent passes, and our opponent said they don't think they can actually beat the lock. <laughs> they might keep playing it out, but they, they don't think they actually have an actual out to Solemnity, Phyrexian on life, which is not all that surprising. So now we just got to draw our last combo piece, hopefully. And we got the GGs. Well, the lock, the lock gets people. And our photo scoops it up. Well, Solemnity, people just can't, can't beat it. It's too solemn. All right, against the odds time, playing some Solemnity in Modern. And this sounds pretty good. Discard, got the lock, got a Viserys here. Uh, Tron. Well, hopefully it's Eldrazi Tron. Polluta Delta, crack it. Get a Godless Shrine, untapped, and Inquisition. Uh, Mono Blue Tron. Well, take a Thirst, pass the turn. Does Solemnity do anything here? Academy Ruins. Opponent passes. We get another Finx. Well, play Vasira Seer. Play a Plains. Pass the turn. Do we need to path our own Vasira Seer? Power Plant. 
I think the answer might be yes. Oh, man. Actually, uh, us is rough. Let's just hope we draw a land. Well, Thought Seize. Not a land. But we get to Thought Seize. Condescend, Thirst, Worm Coil. Well, take Condescend. Get in with Vasira Seer. Opponent still doesn't have blue mana. Pass the turn. Another mine. Opponent passes. Uh, boy. Well, now I think we might have to pass Vasira Seer. We're just not making much progress here with two lands. Urz is mine. All right. We're going to pass Vasira Seer to get a land. Get a swamp. There's a Xur. Well, play Kitchen Finks. Pass the turn. There's a blue mana. So our opponent's to Worm Coil. Time. Well, get in with our Finks. Hit our opponent. Watery Grave. Untapped. Run out our Xur. And pass the turn. Hope nothing horrible happens. Thirst for Knowledge. Discards a Mind Slaver. That's a bit scary. Another Island. And repeals Xur. Now we're drawing our lands. Well, get in with Kitchen Finks. Play an Island. Replay our Xur. Opponent has Remand. All right, pass the turn. And there's Tron. Thought not Seer. And we're going to concede rather than let our opponent see what we're doing. So against this deck, we get three Fulminators. We get two Negates. Maybe Surgicals. Go down Fatal Push. Go down Inquisition, I think. And what else? I think we go down some of the Finks. The Finks actually are not great. Infinite Life doesn't win us the game because our opponent can mill us out with Mind Slaver. All right, we get to play first. Ah, okay. Pass the turn. Opponent leads on Island. Well, let's Thought Seize. Well, take Snapcaster, I guess. I don't think we're ever going to resolve anything. River of Tears. Especially since we're so pinched on mana, it's not like we can even really play around Condescend. Crack Marsh Flats. Get a Swamp. I mean, uh, I think we got to play into it. We can't just not cast stuff forever. There's Messenger. Opponent counters it. Gets to Scry. Oh, that's so painful. Leaves one on top. We pass the turn. Plays a Tron Land. And passes. Play Draw's Messenger. Uh, yeah, we're just like locked under Condescends. Opponent Condescends. Can't do a thing about it. They also get to kill our next, or counter our next play. Godless Shrine tapped. Pass the turn. Leaves one on top. Ghost Quarter. Well, play Fulminator Mage. Pona gets to Condescend. Again. Third in a row. Yup. Whoo! That is a interesting opening hand. Well, this one's not looking hopeful. Leaves one on top. Play another Shambling Vent. Pass the turn. Pona has Expedition Map. Cracks Expedition Map. Gets another land. Plays the tower. Do we draw anything? Not really. Well, play Cartel Aristocrat. Hooray. Pass the turn. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're just dead here. Opponent anticipates. Or practically dead. Grabs a card. Power plant for our opponent. And passes. Well, let's get in with Aristocrat. Man, that Surgical would have been so sweet after the first Condescend. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna keep attacking. We're gonna fire up Shambling Vent. Just go for it. Hit our opponent. If they want a Ghost Quarter and go down a land, that's fine. Uh, they drew Dismember. Okay. Well, at least that costs our opponent a bunch of life. And repeals. Good god. And draws the Tron land. Plays a Thought Knot. Well, let's Path Thought Knot. Opponent gets a land. We draw a Fulminator. Takes Path, which makes me think they must have another counter. Worm Coil. Because we can beat Worm Coil. Oh, no counter. Oh, Thought sees our opponent. Make sure there's no counter. Oh, that's right. It's explosives. Play Fulminator. Sack Fulminator on Tower. Extract Tower. So opponent's off Tron forever. And out of cards. Take a look at their deck. Opponent gets in with Worm Coil. We drop to seven. Opponent passes. Well, let's play Unlife. Pass the turn. Opponent... Hits us to one. Yeah, this might be a hard matchup. Expedition map. Cracks expedition map. Gets Academy Ruins. Well, play Cartel Aristocrat. I mean, we basically gotta go infinite. I think that's our only realistic way of winning. Opponent's gonna get back expedition map. I guess that's fine. Plays an island. Opponent gets in. We go to negative life. And passes. We draw a land. None of this stuff does anything. Play Godless Shrine. Alright, pass the turn. So we need to draw a Solemnity Messenger off the top, basically. Opponent gets in. I think we actually have to block here. So we have enough mana to play combo pieces if we draw them. 
And opponent drew the Cyclonic Rift. Well, uh, that seems like a rough one. Apparently, we can't win every single matchup. All right, against the odds time, playing some Solemnity in Modern. And this hand's actually pretty reasonable. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Opponent's ooh, doing some mulliganing. Leads on a Swamp. Well, let's just Swamp and Inquisition. Uh, lots of thought not, so I'll take Mattery Shaper past the turn. Ghost Quarter passes. Well, play Viserys here. Play Shambling Vent, pass the turn. Well, we need a Drolf's Messenger just to close out this game quick. Opponent, they find a land. They did, Muta Vault. So next turn they might have Thought Knots. So let's Marsh Flats, crack it, grab a Swamp, and get down Solemnity. And pass the turn. No attacks, because of Muta Vault. Alright, opponent's gonna Thought Seize our path. Well, come on, Drolf's Messenger off the top for the win. Fires up the Muta Vault. Yep. Well, we'll take it. Down to 17. Come on, Messenger. Eh, Inquisition. I mean, we'll play it because we can't play anything else. I think it's all Thought Knots, though. Ooh, all right. Well, take Lingering Souls, although that kind of helps our opponent because they can flash it back. And pass the turn. Here's the Lingering Souls. Opponent passes. There it is. That's a Messenger. And good game. <laughs> Solemnity doing its thing. Uh, yep, we'll sack it. Drain our opponent out. Get to scry along the way. Sack the messenger. And might as well keep scrying to the bottom. Opponent's down to 11. Opponent's down to 9. Opponent's down to 7. Opponent's down. And our opponent scoops it up. Sweet Solemnity getting there with the Geralt's messenger. I don't even know what we want against this deck. This is old school Eldrazi. Um, maybe just go up like Supreme Verdict over Archmage and go down to Inquisition for Supreme Verdict. Yeah, maybe we'll leave the Archmage over an Inquisition. Let's try it like that. And all right. I mean, this ends fine-ish. There's our nemesis, Eldrazi Temple. Uh, let's just lead on Fetchland. All right, Ghost Quarter, not Double Temple. That's good, at least. And a Ratchet Bomb. Things that don't beat Solemnity. And let's play Shambling Vents past the turn. Takes up Ratchet Bomb. So Solemnity com can come down with Ratchet Bomb on two if our opponent doesn't have Thought Knot. Oh, dear. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Always the Double Temple. There's Reality Smasher. Can't kill that with Fatal Push. Crag Marsh Flats. Get a Watery Grave. Tapped. Down to 14. Polluted Delta. Crack Polluted Delta. Get a Godless Shrine. Untap. Down to 11, which is pretty sketchy low. Play Solemnity. Opponent's going to learn the Ratchet Bomb lesson. Yep, tick that up. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, it gives me such joy to see people not be able to activate Ratchet Bombs. I don't know why that in specific is so sweet. We might just be too slow, though. Here comes Reality Smasher. Down to a low life total. Follow up. Thought not seer. Oh, well, we just need to draw Unlife off the top. If we draw Unlife off the top, I think we win. If not, the Double Temple may have gotten us. Takes the Finks. All right, come on. Come on, Unlife. One time. Marsh Flats. Well, that gives us a redraw. Marsh Flats, crack Marsh Flats. We get to kill the Thought Knot, get a Swamp. This gives us one more draw. One more draw for it. Come on, Unlife. Here's the draw. Unlife? Oh, Messenger. All right, that does it. Whoo, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Double Temple, doing unfair things in Modern for a long time now. All right, we get to be on the play for Game 3. And, geez, we got the combo hand. We're land short, but we have all the combos. Marsh Flats, crack it, get a Godless Shrine, untapped, lead on Viserys here, pass the turn, see how much discard our opponent has. Uh, ah, temple! If they have double temple, we're quitting. We're quitting magic. Get in with Viserys here, oh man. If we don't draw a third land, this is so bad. Play Polluted Delta, pass the turn. Oh, this hand is one land away from being so good. Uh, Alright, not a temple. That's a small reprieve. Ratchet Bomb. Come on, land. One time. Land off the top. Yes! It's a land. It's a land. All right. It doesn't let us go infinite, but it's a very good start. So get a Godless Shrine. Untapped. Play Solemnity. 
That's our most important combo piece to not get hit by discard because we have so much redundancy. Opponent's able to tick up Ratchet Bomb to one, which actually can stop our immediate combo. So hit our opponent, pass the turn. And since we drew our one island, we can't just go infinite. Opponent has Ghost Quarter and passes. Well, let's get in with Vasira Seer. And I think we just unlife. Now we have the lock. All right, Disenchant does solve the problem, at least temporarily. Here's the thought not off the top. Oh, opponent, opponent, opponent. All right, takes a Finx. Opponent passes. Well, let's just play Kitchen Finx. Opponent's gonna crack the Ratchet Bomb. Oh, we might as well sack Vasira Seer, get a Scry. Ugh, I think we gotta keep it. I think there's enough upside that we gotta keep it. Pass the turn. And just hope we draw into a land before super long. Opponent goes attacking. Eh, let's take it. Down to 12. Opponent passes. Well, let's Thought Seize. Opponent passes our Finx. So we'll just grab a Swamp. Uh, we will take Thought Not Seer. Pass the turn. Now we can follow up with Supreme Verdict, even if our opponent has Reality Smasher. Opponent gets in with Thought Not. Down to 6. And... Ghost Quarters themselves. Are they just going to play Wasteland Strangler? Ooh, jeez. Oh boy. All right, well, this is going to be a very good Supreme Verdict that actually cost our opponent a land to do this. Well, I'm glad we kept the Supreme Verdict. So let's Supreme Verdict kill both creatures. Draw a card. Vasira Seer. Oh, man, we got the combo back set up. We just need... We just need our Solemnity. We need Solemnity number two for the win. Opponent runs out another Wasteland Strangler. Sure. Opponent passes. There's a messenger. Well, Vasira Seer comes down. Kitchen Finks comes down. We do have a little bit of extra wiggle room, thanks to Unlife. And our opponents, man, if they draw another temple. If they don't draw a temple, they're pretty far away from reality smashing. What do you got, opponent? A Relic of Progenitus. All right, that shuts down the infinite combo. Assuming our opponent leaves mana up. Opponent gets in. Well, we will take it. Down to five. Opponent passes. We get a Marsh Flats. Well, let's go attacking. Hit our opponent. Down to 13. Play a Messenger. Down to 11. We might be able to just get the natural win. Play a Marsh Flats. Pass the turn. Opponent. Yep. Gets rid of a Marsh Flats. I think we might have it. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Opponent gets in. Yep. Down to 2. Shambling Vent. Crack Marsh Flats. Down to 1. Get a... Yeah, let's get a Godless Shrine. Sack our Messenger. If our opponent sacks their Relic, that's fine. All right, opponent cracks a the Relic. There goes our Messenger. Well, come on, Solemnity on top. That would be pretty sweet. Uh, I don't think we want another Messenger. Well, let's attack with both. Hit our opponent. Down to seven. Play Cartel Aristocrat. Play Cartel Aristocrat. Pass the turn. Opponent goes attacking. Yep. Well, snap off the block. Stay at one. Opponent passes. We get a Zer. Well, attack with everything. Opponent goes after our Finx. All right, so sack Finx. Go up to three. Polluted Delta to the bottom. I think we still have it, though, thanks to this Messenger. Opponent drops to four, and we have exactly four points of, of Messenger Drain. Opponent's to four. Play Jeralf's Messenger. Opponent drops to two. And then just sack Jeralf's Messenger. Coming back. Two more for Xaxes. Did we get it? Solemnity with another win. Oh, this deck is actually super sweet. And our opponent scoops it up and got the GGs. Whoo, Solemnity still doing its thing. We will certainly take it. So what do we learn this week about Solemnity in Modern? And oh my God, the deck was absurd. We got in six matches. We won five of them. So 80 something percent. We also played a total of 14 games and won 10 of them, putting us around like 70%. So we just absolutely crushed our way through the matches with this deck and I was super happy with its power level and as we played and Solemnity was on the battlefield, I found myself being surprised by how good it actually was. So first off, we have the legitimate nut draw of just playing a Solemnity, playing a Drolf's Messenger after playing a random sack outlet 
on turn one or turn two and just winning the game. And we did that sometimes. Sometimes we just curve out and win. But we also have all these different lines of attack, like the lock with Phyrexian Unlife and Slimnity. And even we don't have the lock, both pieces are reasonable. Phyrexian Unlife just gaining us 10 life essentially isn't bad, or even more than 10 life isn't bad. So all around, the deck just really came together. We get good discard, we get good removal. The only thing I was disappointed in, I guess, is I don't think we ever even cast our Glenelander Archmage. I think we maybe drew it one time, maybe not even, so we just never got to use that, and I think that's a really cool synergy. But Zer was great, letting us tutor out our combo pieces. I could imagine just going up another Zer. I don't think we want to be a full-on Zer deck, but the ability to tutor out our combo is pretty nice, and get our random sideboard stuff, a Stony Silence, a Rule of Law, some of that stuff is pretty Pretty nice as well so all around the deck was amazing solemnity was amazing just the lock was harder than I imagined it would be. When you look at the modern format, you're like, oh, Solemnity, like it does some stuff. But once you have Phyrexian you know, Unlife and Solemnity and your opponent starts trying to tick up Ratchet Bomb to get out from under the lock, you realize how weirdly powerful Solemnity really is. It kind of almost protects itself from some of the popular ways of killing it in the format. So all around, I was super impressed. I think this deck was actually really good. Our record was good. We played some tier decks, some not tier decks, but still, we just kind of crushed through everyone except Tron, and I think we'd even do okay against normal Tron or Eldrazi Tron. We did beat the Mardu Eldrazi deck. I think we could deal with those better than Blue Tron. The combination of infinite counters and not caring about our lock pieces and big mana was really hard, so I think that's a bad matchup, but otherwise, we were fast enough to race other un interactive decks, like when we just turned four eggs before they could combo off and kill us. We were disruptive enough to deal with Affinity and Eldrazi and decks like that. And then we just randomly lock people. We had like white black tokens just be like, uh... I don't have any outs to this. I can't even beat this. So I was pretty happy with it. And I think this is the right way to go with Solemnity. I started off, and I think I mentioned this in the intro, trying to build the hardcore Ghostly Prison Sphere of Safety lock deck. And I think this was a lot more interesting and probably even better. Like, the lock is still there when we draw into it or find it with Xur. But having the ability to just win the game quickly, playing good cards, Gerolf's Messenger, Kitchen Fangs, all all that stuff is really solid. The mana was good enough to cast our Giraffe's Messenger, even though we're a three-color deck. So, all around, super happy with how this turned out, and super impressed by Solemnity. So, I enjoyed it. It was a blast. I think it's actually pretty competitive. Anyway, that's been our Against the Odds deck for this week, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.